Today, I am so excited, you guys. I am unboxing one of the hottest coach bags from this season. Excited to see what I got? Stay tuned. Hello everyone, if you're new here, my name is Caleb. I post luxury and lifestyle related content every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So if that's something you're into, which I mean you're here, I'm assuming it is, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below, give this video a thumbs up, say hi down in the comments. Find me over on Instagram, caleb.snell.designer. And why are you here today? Well, first of all, thank you, I love that about us. We are unboxing one of the hottest and quite possibly most impossible bag to get from Coach this season. But before I unbox this item for you guys, I have a couple of special announcements. So coming this Sunday, we're going to have a very special guest on the channel for one of our, our impromptu lives. It'll be a surprise, it's gonna be a ton of fun. So make sure you tune into Zane and I's live this Thursday night, 8 p.m. Central Time, so that way we can announce who it's gonna be. I'm so excited to drop this for you guys. We've literally been planning this, it's gonna be so much fun, I'm geeking out a little bit. Now, also, second hot topic to discuss, come back March 26th, also a Sunday at 11 a.m. Central Time, because I am doing my designer bag collection for you guys, and it is huge, it is epic, it is everything. There's gonna be Hermes, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, YSL, you name it, it will literally be in the video. I'm super excited, I actually have so many bags, we're gonna split it up by brands afterwards and do like contemporary Longchamp and SLGs, but the big premier designer bags, Sunday, March 26th, you don't wanna miss it. Speaking of Coach, I have a special unboxing for you guys. Now I know in my most recent video, my, my hottest Coach bags, for spring summer 2023 right now. Link down in the description, of course, I wouldn't leave you hanging. However, as you know me, and as I know you, we're, we're collectors in this space. Like, like it's like Pokemon, we gotta catch them all, right? Am I wrong? Like, come on. However, I had it narrowed down to three bags and I am, <sighs> you guys, how we got to this point is, is it's, it's, a, it's a crazy, it's a crazy train, but if you're not new to this channel, you would know not to expect anything less. It's always a crazy train around here. The three bags that I really wanted to buy, I really wanted the Coach Sammy, preferably in chalk. I really wanted the Tabby Messenger, what I thought was the large size. We'll get to that here in a second. And what I really, really, really wanted was the Jelly Tabby bag. As you can tell, none of the three are gonna fit into this little bag here. What did I buy, you're asking? Well, let me tell you why. So first of all, the Coach Sammy, it's too similar to my Hermes Kelly, it's too similar to a Fendi Peekaboo or my .com. I already have a Coach chalk bag, even though it's my favorite. Don't hate on Coach Chalk. I just didn't see myself with that silhouette actually getting much use out of it, especially at $550. Now, if I can catch that sucker before it goes to outlet or, you know, on the reserve, 100%, I will be here for it. The Tabby Messenger bag, you guys, I loved it in the runway show. It's all I talked about, poor Zane, that's all you heard about for months. I was like, oh my God, when this bag drops, I'm gonna have to have it. They dropped and I was underwhelmed. Like, I love them for other people and I am so excited for those of you that were able to snag one. Like, they are gorgeous, do not get me wrong. But for me personally, after seeing a few on Instagram, I was just like, ooh, I don't love that as much as I thought I would. And I, it's a safe space, no judgment. Safe space, don't roast me in the comments for it. The most disappointing of all three, the Jelly Tabby bag. I had it narrowed down. I was like, do I want the acid green? Do I want the violet, that, that beautiful, like spacey 2000s, like totally my vibe, right? Color, like which one do I want? I mean, eventually it's gonna yellow, so I should probably go with the green because the yellowing will be less obvious. But something about that violet, I waited too long. Then violet was gone, and then before I could rationalize the acid to myself, acid was gone, and I was out. I was out of the running. I, I didn't get one of the jelly bags. I am so upset. Anyway though, real talk, I was really hoping they'd do that like pool blue color that they had on the runway. Like that's what I was really waiting for. Like my acid green, the violet, those were just like runner ups in my mind. Okay, I've rambled enough. You're probably wondering like, Caleb, what's in the bag? Just like shut up already and pull it out. And I'm not one of those, I'm not one of those content creators who makes you wait until the end of the video and then pulls it out. So I'm gonna get it out now and then we're gonna discuss because it's a little, it's a little crazy, not gonna lie. So the reason I call this the hottest bag of the spring summer 2023 season is because you probably can't get one. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'm sorry, maybe a little bit of clickbait, but this bag is actually the 2004, can you guess what it is by the strap? <laughs> the 2004 Signature Mini Field Bag. <laughs> You're probably very confused. I'm confused too, I love that about us. Like it's a safe space, we can be confused together. No guys, seriously though, so we were on shopgoodwill.com, more or less Zane actually, once again, so everything on that website is Zane's fault. It popped up and I was like, oh, you know what? That is super cute. And I am a sucker for this era coach. Like, give me like the early 2000s Reed Krakow era coach, like the Hamptons, the Soho, the, the 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 older bleaker and legacy like i'm there especially with the signature and especially especially with the mini signature but 
In this instance, we're with the big signature. Now for bags of this era, especially ones that have like flaps, things like that, like sometimes the jacquard could wear out, but this bag, you guys, is literally flawless. The Vachetta has a few water spots along the bottom, but for being nearly 20 years old, you gotta admit, he's looking pretty fresh. So with these buckles, they're actually fake. They, they just open up with magnets. And then of course that vermilion, beautiful orange lining that always paired well with the coach signature. The Vachetta trim, like it is flawless. There's a zippered pocket here on the interior, slip pocket here on the front that's pretty roomy, slip pocket on the back, and yes, you guys, 2004 coach planned for our large cell phones in the future. It fits. Amazing, right? Not room for much else after you get it in there, but I mean, you could do a card holder at the front. This is going to be absolutely perfect for me for the spring summer season. I am so freaking excited. Like, and I, I can already see myself, denim shirt, white jeans, just bumming around the city. Like it is gonna be a vibe. We're 100% here for it. I'm a nerd. I, I love to do my research. If, if we didn't learn anything from my Poshmark drama, I'm a bit of a stalker when it comes to finding things online. And I've already found everything there is to know about the mini field bag. So let's, let's, let's collectively hop in the time machine and go back to July, 2004 and take a look and see what was going on at the coach website back then. All right, guys. So looking back at coach July, 2004, my first question is why is she wearing a wool coat with a fur collar? Why? I don't understand, but she's carrying a gorgeous Soho bag. And I think it's like a new buck, iconic. Maybe they're getting ready for fall, winter. I don't know, but her, her outfit's not necessarily reading very 4th of July, in my opinion. Now, let's go into handbags. So when it came to this era, you had a ton of like really cool, like this is kind of when Coach allowed themselves to be like a little bit quirky and a little bit weird, if, I, if I'm allowed to say that. You had the Soho collection, and I, I am loving this Coach Demi pouch with that like green, jacquard totally a vibe here's the soho suede bag that we saw on the front scrolling through i always wanted one of these vintage signature flap satchels like that's a vibe i'm loving all the signature on here i'm not the biggest fan of the new signature i said what i said don't hate me save space but i mean a lot of these like this is iconic coach you guys now i remember back in the day like you would have the release, they'd sell out, they'd go through their season, and it would be a good one, two, almost three years before it made it to outlet. And then like an additional season before like the made for factory versions were released at outlet. Do you guys remember that? Like you kids these days have it so easy. Like a collection's done immediately on Coach Reserve, which the website wasn't a thing back then. I'll tell you that much. Back then you actually had to like wait, plan it out, stock it. And now it's just like, oh, it's at the outlet. <laughs> the Todd Wesselman stuff. Failed in stores, immediately outlet. <laughs> so let's learn a little bit more about the signature mini field bag. So back in 2004, this bag MSRP'd for $178, kind of amazing. The signature mini field bag, it's obviously a vibe, right? So let's read about it. Now this says, give yourself a little luxury. Our smallest field bag is compact and carries all your everyday necessities. There's a front gusted pocket under the flap, an inside zip pocket, an outside back open pocket, two buckle tabs with magnetic snap closures, signature jacquard fabric with leather trim and fabric lining. This cracked me up, you guys, when I was reading about it. So in the listing on the Coach website, it states that it has two grommets on the front flap to hold, and this is a direct quote, to hold whimsical push pens. What? Whimsical push pens. Yes, you heard that right, folks. So these little holes right here are to put your whimsical push pens in. Whimsical. <laughs> anyway, this the, the strap it says is 52 and a qu one eighth inches long, eight inches in length, four almost five inches tall, two inches deep, right? Okay, back to the whimsical push pens. I'm like, there is no way that Coach had whimsical push pens. I am of this era when it comes to Coach. I started collecting Coach in 06, I think. Yeah, it was 06. I started with a cell phone charm because I was a broke little high school boy. I don't remember whimsical push pins being a thing at Coach, but apparently under accessories, if you go all the way down, and mind you, we're still at July 2004. So we're going to scroll down. And along the way, I'm seeing a lot of things that I've owned over the ages. Um, Zane's mom had this Coach Soho Mini Skinny. I think I have had a couple of these wallets. I have. I remember this multi-striped framed wristlet was a big deal, especially at the outlet and on the purse form. People would fight for that thing. That key fob looks familiar. Like there's a lot of good stuff on here. But as you're going down, there they are, the two whimsical push pins. So you could pick from a flower push pin, which is like a daisy. Um, one has white petals, one has violet petals, or you could pick from their highly stylized, and this was on a lot of their stuff back then, the butterfly push pin, both retailed for $28. So I guess she could do like a daisy and a butterfly would kind of be a vibe. I'm a 34 year old man, so I don't really think I'm gonna be pushing any like whimsical push pin. I mean, I might do a whimsical push pin, but a butterfly or a daisy, probably not my vibe. Anyway guys, so that was our look back at 2004. Kind of a vibe, not gonna lie. You guys, I am so excited about this bag and 
and in the back pocket, the original owner left a 2019 Target receipt, September 2019, before everything fell apart. They bought um, wallets for $16, a pair of shorts, a top, a Joy Lab coat, I think these are kids' clothes, and Orbitz gum for $3.59. They spent a total of $110.08, which is not hard when you're going to when you go to Target, not gonna lie. That is my newest bag. I'm super freaking excited. I'm sorry it's not like something exciting like a Tabby or a Sammy. It is what it is. Maybe I'll get one eventually if the jelly bags come back. Wish me luck because I do want that violet. Okay, before we before we call it a day, like, mm, safe space. Remember guys, this Thursday, 8 p.m. Central Time, Zane and I will be going live and we're going to be announcing our very special guest on Sunday. And then coming up March 26th, 11 a.m. Central Time, we are dropping the video to end all videos. This is going to be my designer bag collection. It's a huge deal. It's taken a lot of effort, a lot of filming, and a lot of time has gone into this video, so I'm super excited to share it with you guys. March 26th, mark your calendars. It's gonna be a vibe. I hope you enjoyed my, my maybe clickbaity unboxing. I'll say it, you're a little annoyed, I get it. I'm sorry, I was having fun. Anyway, I'm gonna go fill this thing up, see what fits, and I'll catch you guys tomorrow, 8 p.m. Central Time for Zane and I's Live. Until then, you guys, stay safe, have fun, I'll see you then. Bye-bye.